May God's grace greet and strengthen you this day as we gather in the light of the Lord, as we gather in the word that's been given. Let us pray. Lord, grant us blessings in this day and a chance to share in the joy of it, Lord. As your light shines upon us, as our life finds its meaning, as your word directs us in our steps, Lord, let your light shine not only upon us but from us, Lord. Let us share your glory, share your joy, share your love to others. And Lord, we pray that as we seek to be your people, you will guide us uh, as one who bears a light before us in truth, in love, as we seek to be compassionate to the world and to bring understanding to the, to the lives around us, to walk with a greater truth, Lord, than we have, to step away from the deceptions that plague us, those that keep us separated from one another and especially from you, O Lord, that your word will, will bind us unto truth and unto your everlasting love. Lord, for this we pray and in the fellowship of your Holy Spirit, guide and strengthen us this day. In Christ, amen. And from the Psalms, Psalm 84, we read, For the Lord is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. That's from the last couple of verses of that Psalm. God is a is a light. God is a protection. God, these metaphorical uses of uh for describing God, describing our relationship with God, such a powerful force in the Psalms, in the in our own hymns of praise in the in the life of faith today. But why? Why do we have these powerful images? The sun, the this great bright object that brings life to, to all the world around us, to ourselves. Why do we compare these things to God? It is hard to really perceive in the light of who we are, in the in the limits of who we are, really what God's grace and glory is. And that is why so often we look into the edge of the unknown, we look into the what seems to be ultimately powerful to us. We're looking out into the vastness of space, and as we look into the, this great beyond, the mighty black holes, the binary suns, the, the, the developing star systems, all these amazing things out in the universe, or cast our vision down into the microscopic world and learn about uh, viruses and atoms and and... The, the deeply beyond our imagination microscopic, to see that God is present, to see that there is something going on that has order, that has purpose. That is the great understanding of God's grace and glory. And in that grace and glory, it's not for God alone separate from us, but God's great joy of His glory is to bring these good things into the life of all creation, and especially us, this creation in His image. He doesn't want to withhold it from any of us. And He promises to provide, to, to, to be that blessing uh, realized on those who walk uprightly. Part of walking uprightly is realizing not what God is going to do because you're good, that's, that's not even how it works. But what God is doing, we realize and find our place in what God is doing. And those good things have meaning and purpose. And we have meaning and purpose. Blessed. And that's when we realize. In that trust, we realize just how blessed we are. And blessed be you, as you realize that today, how much God loves you.